always try to um, talk about things that are directly about their experience. Mm. So if I'm talking to, even if it's not in my experience, mm. it's fine. So if I'm talking to building and construction trades folks, mm. I like to talk about mm. you know, buildings and, and the work that they do. Um, I think that's really important is to think about how how your audience, what your audience does, mm -hmm. who they are, and then I think that's very effective. That mm -hmm. and also because people like to hear about themselves, they like to they like to know that you're not just giving some kind of canned mm -hmm. talk that you could do to anyone. Mm -hmm. That you're actually that you know who they are and that you're you're talking mm -hmm. to them about their experience. Mm -hmm. So that's probably one of the most frequent things I, I do. I also try to very, uh, what I've learned that's different from writing is, um, is the use of, um, I tend to use much shorter sentences and repeat things mm -hmm. that are particularly mm -hmm. salient points because I know it's, it's when you're just listening to somebody talking, mm -hmm. it can get a little boring, but <laughs> if it's, uh, if what they're talking about, one is, of course, it's very interesting. Everything I talk about is so interesting, but it's also just the, the being able to use shorter sentences and repeat some things mm -hmm. so that you're engaging people in the direct thing that you're talking about.